Hello there guys and welcome to our 26 C++ tutorial. In this tutorial, just like I mentioned in our previous one, is going to be we're going to basically go ahead and write a function that would print the elements located in our two-dimensional array here, which we went over in our previous tutorial. So if you don't have this code, this segment of code, you see, please go right ahead and watch the our 25th C++ tutorial. Make sure you understand that, and then. You can come back to this tutorial and basically um, watch this one. Anyways, so let's waste no time and go ahead and get started. So, all you want to do is write a function that will print out each element located in our two-dimensional array here called my array, which consists, which is a three by three, which is a square, um, which is a square matrix, basically a square, uh, and it consists of a total of nine elements. First, we're not going to need our C outline here that we printed out. Um, uh, row one, uh, okay, uh, column two, which is number two. If you remember from my previous story. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. So let's go ahead outside our main and declare our function prototype. I'm gonna call our function called print array, or maybe I should call it print two D array. This is our function prototype. It's gonna have a parameter. It's gonna have an integer parameter, and. I'm just going to put here, I'm going to name it A, standing for Array. And now let's put a basically 3 here, telling it that it consists of 3 columns. Or basically, our, yeah, 3 columns. Anyways, that's, our, that's just our prototype, if you remember from our function tutorial. Down here, we're going to go ahead and put the body of the function to the array, just like we named it up there. Don't worry, we're gonna type our code then we're gonna explain it afterwards. Type INTA Okay, what we wanna do here is we're gonna say for INT I equals zero I has to be less than Three, since we know our array consists of three, uh, basically row up here equals three, and we know that's since we made a constant, we actually know that's that's how much you can only accept anyway. So, and then we want to increment i by one every time. Okay, inside of, so we're gonna have a nested loop. So we're gonna have another for loop inside the for loop. And we're gonna say int. This time we're gonna name it j equals zero j has to be less than 3 and then j plus plus and then all we want to do is just see out a which is our array and we're going to put here i j and I think we should leave a space so we're going to leave a space and then we're going to put a semicolon there and what we want to do up here is just type a C out and line basically so we can so we can make a look a little bit neater all this will do is skip to a new line every time this function is executed every time this for loop is executed to make it look a little bit neater when it displays inside our main here we're going to go ahead and call our function to do that we're going to type print to the array and then open parenthesis close parenthesis and inside our function we need to pass it a an integer two dimensional array which we are fortunate enough to have which is up here my array so all we have to do is just type my array so now let's go ahead and build this and see if we build this and run it we should be able to see uh, all these elements basically 1 to 9 pretty not on the screen so let me go ahead and build this make sure no errors get no errors alright so it was, it, it was compiled successfully when we run it so as you see here we see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 the press any key to enter here we can uh, s display on the same line we can simply fix that by just going up here and typing C out and line and we're going to build a very quick 
so you can see that that would actually fix it here we go that looks much better anyways let's go over our code so for my previous story here we declared two constant integers one row and column and our we initialize our my array here to consist of three rows and three columns a total of nine elements all we're doing here if you remember from our previous our functions tutorial uh, C++ tutorial we're just calling our array and passing it uh, we would call our function our print function array or print to d array and we're passing it our our array here where we initialized here we just basically skip in the line and up here this is our function prototype so basically we so our main program knows to expect this function basically that our main program will know that there's another that there's a function that it can use if you actually if it's called here because if we don't put a prototype then our main program will not know uh, that function actually exists anyways in our function here what we're doing is after we we're giving it uh, are we passing it uh, we're, we're passing our array then we're using a for loop we're using nested for loop basically a for loop inside a for loop so here you know what we're doing we're, we're setting i equals to zero and we're recommending from zero up to two basically three elements zero one to two, zero one two that's three elements and then here we're printing a line every time this for loop is executed so once we call the function up in the main here we go inside our function here the for loop gets executed it will skip a it will basically leave a blank line then go inside this for loop j equals zero which is true j is less than three make j to one set j equal to one it's gonna go here in location in our uh, in my array location row one column one basically zero zero here which is the same thing as one one and it's gonna print out number one then it's gonna come up here and it's gonna do this three times so it's gonna print out the first three elements and then j is gonna be equal to three therefore three is not less than three so it's gonna get out and go up here it's gonna print then i is gonna be equal to one which is true here is less than three and then it's gonna print out a blank line then it's gonna do the same thing it's gonna print out these three elements once again go up here i is two well three of these three elements sorry and then i is gonna come down come back up to here it's gonna see that i equals to two which is still true two is less than three gonna still print another skip a line print out the last three elements and go up here i is three now three is not less than three this is not true so this function basically is done it's, it's going to return up here and it's going to go to the next line it's going to skip a line it's going to pause and then terminate the program okay guys so if you have any question about this please leave comments or send me a message anyways thank you for watching this tutorial and please guys don't forget to subscribe and basically uh, send me messages or leave comments as much as possible uh, that way I know I don't know if you guys like my tutorials or not and please give me any suggestions of any tutorials you would like to see in the future and I'll be more than glad to make those tutorials uh, so if I can help you anyway please send me a message and please don't forget to subscribe and watch all my other videos thank you guys